Before you throw out the banana peels, watch this video. You're going to want to save these. This is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I just wanted to share with you a little bit about banana peels in your garden. We save our banana peels because they add a lot of great nutrients to your soil. When the banana peel starts breaking down it, um, it gives as it's decomposing it gives off nitrogen, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium to your plants and this isn't everything that your plant needs but it gives it a really nice boost in your garden and I make a really simple um, banana peel fertilizer it is so simple and easy to do I thought I would share it with you it really helps the garden it's easy to use so let's put some together I'll show you how it works so I just have a half gallon mason jar. You could do this in uh, quart sizes also. You're just gonna use one banana peel in a quart. Um, I'm gonna put two banana peels in a half gallon. Um, it's really easy. I literally am just gonna take my banana peels and pull them apart in the sections that they peeled in just and drop them in the jar. It's that easy. There's nothing difficult you can take this and um, and you can add you can put it like in a chopper and really like emulsify it and then you can like if you can get it liquefied in your chopper then you could uh, pour it right on and the little bits and pieces will decompose right into your soil which is a wonderful way to go but you don't want to put your peels in a big jug because they're going to clog up your little spout so the next thing we've just got two banana peels in this half gallon so the next thing I'm just I we use rainwater as much as possible so I've just got some fresh rainwater here um, sometimes there's debris in it but I'm just going to fill this jar up with some rainwater and there you have it you can see right now this water the cap on this so I don't dump it all over myself because I'm famous for being messy but I just put a cap on it you can kind of shake it once a day if you want this doesn't take very long to do at all this is um, it's night you can see the water is nice and clear um, right now and in three days I have some that I made three days ago and it is ready to use so okay so you can see this is nice and clear this water it's just fresh rainwater and banana peels and this we just made it a couple seconds ago and this is what it's gonna look like it is very it turns kind of brownish in here and you can see these two quarts are very brown and and uh, they are ready to go now I'm not gonna throw away my banana peels after this I'm still gonna take these peels we're gonna strain them out right now I'm just I've got a bowl and a little colander just to hold the peels back and any little chunks that might fall off it those little skin things and you can see this got pretty black in here and uh, after three days this stuff is just beautiful for the garden so we're gonna get these peels out of here Ew. they're smushy and kind of disgusting but these are ready to go right into the compost or if you cut this up you can put it right in the garden and if it's small enough it will break down quickly um, 
but I like to put it in the gar in the compost heap because this is you can't get any simpler than this. And then I'm also gonna empty this one out. And you can see this water liquid, it's a liquid fertilizer now, is ready to go. That's as hard as it is. And you can put it back in your jugs and store it that way. I am gonna pour some back in here and I'll show you how I use this in the garden. This is pretty strong fertilizer, so you really don't need a lot of it. So this has this quart has four cups in it. We all know that. And then I've got a fresh jug of water here that we're going to use. And I'm going to take and put one cup into a full. I think this is a five-liter watering can. Um, I'm going to put like one cup in there, and we're going to save the other three cups. And you can put a cup in each jug. And I usually do this two times a week. And, uh, and I use my other compost two times a week, my tea. So this is, um, this is perfect just like this. Mix it up and pour it on. And this is going to give some added nutrients to your garden. It gives it a nice boost, especially just before flowering, I noticed. It really helps um, push the flowering and vegetables. Um, so I haven't used it on flowers, but I, we use it on our vegetables usually. I guess it would work quite well on flowers as well. But let's go pour some in the garden. Okay, so we got our thirsty little zucchinis here and some crooked neck squash. And these are just about ready to flower, and I just like to give them a nice little dose in there of this. Give them a good little dosing in there. They love this. And it gives them all that added nutrients, and it's just so good for them. And that is it. It's super simple. Anybody can do this. And it really helps out your plants. They absolutely love it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.